Good morning from Mist Animals in Waynesboro. This episode is going to be, um, just between today and tomorrow, is all going to be um, just hanging around town, just chilling, doing video editing, shopping, logistics, all that good stuff. So there's going to be no uh, hiking in this video, so this may be the one that uh, you pass up, but that's fine. But if you want to see all the logistical stuff, just hang out and... Um, We'll take care of all that stuff uh, today, and then um, tomorrow at some point, uh, I think, is when my dad rolls into town. We'll try to uh, get together with him for a little bit, so that'll be fun. But I'm going to head out here in a little bit and go try to find some breakfast. I think there's a McDonald's and a Hardee's um, just in the immediate vicinity, and um, we'll see if we can find some uh, food there, and then... Uh, I think at some point I need to get like a haircut, so we'll see if we can get that taken care of. And then uh, there's a Walmart nearby, I'll figure out how much food and all that stuff. I think the Shenandoah is, is going to be, just from my initial look at it, um, one of the most difficult logistically to try to do it. The easy way to get through the Shannies would be like, well it's a hundred whatever miles, just take five days of food and you're good to go. But I want to try to get most of my food from the waysides. So I got to be as efficient as possible. Maybe I only need a day of food. And then um, I can get lunches and dinners and stuff at the waysides. So I got to do a lot of planning to see what's actually open, what they have, where can I get some kind of resupply halfway in between, and that kind of stuff. So that's why it makes it a little more logistically challenging to get through the Shenandoahs. But otherwise, stick around if you want to see all that stuff. And um, we'll get started here shortly. All right, back to the hostel. Successful McDonald's run. I got my regular um, like this sausage egg biscuit meal and the uh, breakfast burrito meal with orange juice and a coffee. All right, I think this is what the planning looks like for getting through the Shenandoahs. You guys ready for this? This is why this is the most complicated uh, resupply mission. All right, getting back on trail, Rockfish Gap, 20 mile day to Black Rock Hut. There's nothing in between, so I at least need that day's worth of food. Uh, the next day, we're going to go from Black Rock Hut to High Top Hut. In between there, we've got Loft Mountain Store, which is open from 9 to 5, and based on the distances between, I should be able to hit that up and get some kind of uh, lunch option there maybe. Um, possible resupply stuff as well. There's the Loft Mountain Wayside, which is right near it as well, but apparently that is currently closed or they're not serving food or something like that, so I'm not going to count on it. And that'll be a 21.4 mile day to get us into the High Top Hut. After that, um, right around lunchtime or so, we can get into the Lewis Mountain Campground store. We could resupply there, and we could also get lunch there. Further on, there's the Big Meadows Wayside which is indicating that the restaurant there is closed, so I can't really count on that. Uh, just up from there is the Big Meadows Lodge, which apparently their restaurant is open. I couldn't really find times to get in for dinner, but that's going to be towards the end of uh, um, like a 24-mile day. I should be able to get in there for a dinner time, though, as long as I can get seated at the restaurant. So that could be a dinner option that day. But it would be a 23.9 mile day, which would get us into the Rock Spring Hut. Next day after that, um, that's about four and a half miles outside of that hut. I can get into the Skyland Resort, and they have a restaurant there, so I could get into that for breakfast. After that, um, there's nothing for the rest of the day. There's no real hut options at this kind of distance to make it like a 20 mile day, so I'll be looking for, um, apparently there's some stealth sites somewhere around 950 to 951, so I think that's where I'm going to stay for that night. The last day, which would get us into Front Royal, there is uh, a wayside shortly after the stealth site area, but they don't open until 9 a.m. I could get like breakfast and resupply stuff there if I waited that long, but I got a feeling right now I'm not going to count on it. I'm probably going to get up at like 6 a.m. as usual and just blow straight through this place and just do um, like a 21 mile day or so. That would be to get us into US 50, uh, US 522, which would be towards the Front Royal area. 
and then right now right off trail at that crossing is a uh, bed and breakfast so potentially I could stay there otherwise I'd have to get like um it's a three or five mile ride to get into Front Royal itself um and I have to look for a hotel or something in Front Royal but staying at this B&B would be the best option I'd have to call ahead and um, start getting reservations if this whole game plan works out so as far as um minimum food items I'd have to get uh, three breakfasts, three lunches, and three dinners would get me through this whole set. If I can um, get into the restaurants and get all these other dinner options that I would plan on getting along the way. Um, that doesn't mean I have to leave here with that much food because I could resupply as early as the second day at Loft Mountain Store and get some stuff. It's going to be expensive, but um, I've got the money. I'm budgeted for this. This is kind of a best way to do it based on the least amount of stuff you have to carry so this is just considering for weight which I think I'm gonna do and just leave town here with maybe a day's worth of food and then pick up everything else on the way uh, okay so I think that's about it so that's like a five-day stretch with all this stuff in between um, again some of these are closed some of these are open some of these have really tight windows for when to get breakfast when to get lunch when to get dinner and that's what makes the logistics a little complicated. So shortly here, I'm going to go um, out for a little shopping run to Walmart and pick up some of the basic minimal items that I need. And I also need like, you know, toothpaste and another fuel can, so stuff like that I'm going to go get for shopping. And then I can get lunch and stuff while I'm out. So that'll happen in the next um, hour or so probably. For Walmart resupply. All right, this is all the stuff I got at Walmart. Um, I only got half of the stuff I was looking for. This is basically just a lot of snack bars and stuff to get me through the first day and a half or so until I get to a resupply stuff. These little smoothie drinks are just because they're awesome. I'm gonna snack on those throughout the day, and then I uh, re-upped on my toothpaste. I'm mainly looking for like uh, some freeze-dried dinners. I think for the times where I will not be able to get a dinner meal in. And then um, I need another fuel canister, but I think I'm gonna have to go to uh, Super Walmart to get that kind of stuff because they didn't have a camping section at the normal Walmart. Um, once my dad gets in town, he'll have a car, so it'll be easier to run around and get the other things that we need. Um, for right now, though, I'm gonna go back out and let's look for some lunch. Let's try pizza for lunch. Back to pizza for dinner. <laughs> Done with dinner, heading to Klein's Dairy Bar for dessert. Uh, good morning from Stanimals. Day two, zero, number two. I'm waiting on Dad. He should be getting here somewhere shortly after noon, I think. So in the meantime, I'm just going to be chilling. I don't think I need to do any shopping or anything right now. So I'm just relaxing and like just letting my muscles rest, watching YouTube videos, and that's about it. I've already um, walked down the street and got some McDonald's, so I'll be uh, munching on this here shortly. And um, yeah, I like Stanimals. Nice, good, chill place. I think the one in Glasgow is better, I would say, just because the, um, the house there was better. Um, this place is just a little more worn in, I guess is the word, but it's nice. Um, it's a bigger place here, so you can fit more people, but um, I think I just like the other one better in Glasgow. It's a smaller, like a smaller, chiller out atmosphere, but this place is cool. The location's really good for where it is here in town in uh, Waynesboro, because there's um, everything you need just within walking distance. Anyway, it's gonna be pretty chill up until my dad gets in town and then once I'm a little more mobile with his car, then we can get some other shopping done. All the stuff I couldn't get done yesterday will get done um, later today. So we'll catch you up when that stuff happens. Otherwise, not much going on, just relaxing. And I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. All right, my dad just arrived. So um, we're gonna go get some lunch real quick. There he is driving. We got Melanie in the back. 
Yay! <laughs> We're gonna get some food real quick. I think we're gonna go back to the tailgate place that I had lunch at um, yesterday when I got in town. So we'll do that real quick, and then we gotta do some running around shopping, um, but it's gonna be awesome. All right, we're done with lunch. We got some ice cream from the Klein's Dairy Bar place. That place is really good. We're gonna go back to the um, RV base camp, and we're gonna regroup, come up with a new game plan, chill there for a little bit maybe. I got to do some uh, shopping, got to find out outfitters and stuff, and I got to hit up a super Walmart to get some other supplies. And um, those will be the big ticket items for the day. Now that I have access to a vehicle, uh, we'll get some other stuff knocked out though. We're popping into Rockfish Gap Outfitters real quick. I'm gonna look for a new filter, I think. All right, I think I'm gonna re-up on my gas, get a new water filter. My old one was just getting really crummy with like mold and stuff growing in it, so I think I'm gonna get a new one. And then I think I'm gonna pick up some dinners while I'm here. These are a little cheaper actually than other places I've seen. All right, quick stop into the Super Walmart for just a few more items, then we'll be good to go. All right, shopping's all complete. We had to run across town a little bit to uh, get to a Super Walmart to get some of the items, but uh, the three Mountain House meals were the minimum meals I needed to get me through the Shenandoahs. Everything else I'm going to get through the Waysides, so I think Mountain House meals is going to be the way to go there. We got a brand new uh, smart water bottle. We got the uh, re-up on the fuel. A new uh, memory card for the camera. And then you can see the comparison in my old uh, water filter. This thing was definitely getting some mold and stuff in it. I think it's because it never really dried out. It always had constantly water in it. So I just went ahead and got a brand new one, and you can tell the difference on how clean the brand new one looks in comparison. So what I'll probably do is try to take better care of this one and air it out some and let the uh, moisture evaporate from the inside. But now I'm good to go. I'm ready to hit the shanties tomorrow. Here we go. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for coming out and meeting me. <laughs> It's nice just to sit and relax and just chill. <laughs> That's what we do all the time. Mm -hmm. What? As opposed to walking on the AT. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're done relaxing at the RV for a little bit, and we're uh, heading back into Waynesboro to go look for some dinner. I think we're going to try to hit up the Greenleaf Grill is what it's called. It should be there in a little bit. Yeah, that was the Greenleaf Grill. That was a really good place to get some food. And now we're heading back to the RV park. Maybe try to find some dessert or something and just kind of enjoy the rest of the evening. And with that, I think we're done for the night. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to bed here soon in a minute, I think. And tomorrow we'll be getting up early and then Dad's gonna drop me back off to the uh, trailhead, Rockfish Gap, I think it was. And then very shortly thereafter, we're entering the Shenandoah National Park for the next hundred and something miles. So that'd be kind of cool. I think I got a pretty good game plan for how I'm going to tackle that with um, the minimum food I need to carry. And then hopefully I can get all the um, waysides and shops and stores and stuff hit up and get lunches and resupplies as we go kind of thing. So it'll be an adventure. It's definitely not the um, easiest way to do this, but it's kind of the way that I want to try to tackle it sort of thing. So this next week will be... Uh, Pretty fun one way or the other. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, this ends the double zero day. Thanks for sticking through it. Um, back to hiking tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.